Okay, today we're going to talk about geometric sequences. We're going to start out in this first part here, then we'll go to the second, third, and fourth. Each section has a focus, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, this first part here, we're just going to talk about what a geometric sequence is. So a geometric sequence is a pattern that goes from one term to the next by multiplication or division. For example, we have 2, 4, 8, 16. And the instructions are to determine whether the following is a geometric sequence. Well, to go from 2 to 4, normally we think, oh, we'll add 2, right? And then we go from 4 to 8, we'll add 4. From 8 to 16, we'll add 8, right? Well, the pattern is that we're actually multiplying by 2 to go from one term to the next. And since we are multiplying by 2, we can call this a geometric sequence. All right, we have some examples over here to the right where it says determine whether the following sequences is a geometric sequence or not. So for 1, we go from 19 to 14, 14 to 9, 9 to 4. And what we have to ask ourselves is, is this decreasing by division or subtraction or neither? Um, to go from 19 to 14, we subtract 5. From 14 to 9, we subtract 5. And from 9 to 4, we subtract 5. So, by definition here, is it going from one term to the next by multiplication or division? That answer is no. Therefore, this is not geometric. All right, for number two, we have 28, 14, 7, 3.5. Well, to go from 28 to 14, that's minus 14. 14 to 7, that's minus 7. So it's definitely not a constant subtraction. But if we look at it, we're cutting each, pre each of the previous numbers in half. So this is actually going down by a division of 2. When we go from 7 to 3.5, that's also a division of 2. So this answer is yes, it's geometric. Now, I want you to try 3 and 4. All right. In this next section, we're going to be talking about a now next rule. How do we write a rule to represent these geometric sequences? Well, we need to find what we call a common ratio. Here, um, we write, we're asked to write the now next rule to describe the pattern below, then use it to determine the next term in the sequence. So we have a little note here. To find the common ratio, we're going to take our, um, basically, in short terms, we're going to take our A2 and divide it by our A1. All right, so here we have 6, and we're going to divide it by 2. All right? 6 divided by 2 is 3, and this is how we know to go from one term to the next, we multiply by 3. So then what will our now next rule be? Well, basically, to get from what we have now to what we want next, we have to multiply by this common ratio of 3, and then we get our next term. So, for instance, with 54, with 54, we need to multiply by 3. So, that's 54 times 3. And we get our next term, which I believe is 162.
All right, so that's how we get our next term. If we want the term after that, we take 162 and multiply it by 3, right? And we multiply it until we get however many terms the question asks for. All right, so over here to the right, we have some examples. It says, write a now next rule for the sequence below. Use the now next rule to determine the next term in the sequence. All right, so we have here 4, 12, 36, 108. Well, to go from 4 to 12, that's times 3. 12 to 36 times 3. 36 to 108 is times 3 as well. If it's not increasing by a multiple or decreasing um, by the division of a number, then we just know that it's not geometric. So it won't always be the case where we'll have increasing by a multiple. Okay, so um, just keep that in mind. Now that we know it's increasing by times 3, we can write our now next rule. All right, so we write next to get the next term. We take our now and multiply it by three. And that's our rule. So after 108, what would the next term be? Right? Yep, 324. All right, and then we have 28, 14, 7, 7 over 2, right? Same as in the previous column. Here, what we want to do is write next equals now divided by <laughs> um, 2, or we can say we're multiplying by half. Now you try 7 and 8. 